Let's talk about lunch with uh, Chef Josh and uh, John talking about uh, some fr French toast today, guys. You, you pulled out the A-list <laughs> video there, didn't you? Wow, that yeah, was good blew stuff. Blew me away. <laughs> I really did. I all that. In France with that. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Josh, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. As always, from Muse Restaurant, cooking up something new for your brunch uh, menu. Yes, it is on our current brunch menu right now. Um, we've been running brunch for about the past four months, and it's been doing really well. But I bet I love French toast. We're gonna get started. Okay. So real eggs. Yep. Important point number one: don't use stuff from a carton. It doesn't act the same. Say so that again. It doesn't. It doesn't cook the same. You know they put all those stabilizers in the already ready to go mixed eggs. That oh oh I see what from, you're saying. You're, you know. you're talking about the like the little milk yeah, cartons of I yeah, uh, 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 gotcha. Already prepared eggs. I thought, so, where else do you get eggs but from an egg carton? So what we oh, have... Oh, that is such a city thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, how about from chickens, right? Unbelievable. So what we have here anyway. is uh, it's a little bit of heavy cream, and we're just going to whisk those eggs in until it all becomes one. Uh-huh. We're going to add a little bit of uh, ground cinnamon. Mm. You know, you can be pretty heavy-handed with it if you want. Love cinnamon and French toast. Right. Got to go together. That right? and French vanilla extract. Mm-hmm. Um, so, once this gets all together and the cinnamon gets absorbed, we have to do the egg in the hole part. How's that? Which has everyone baffled at ABC7 today. All right, this is my nifty little thing. You can use anything at home that is a uh, circle. Little pastry cutter there. Yeah, so we're going to take our brioche bread, we're going to push down, rotate. There's one. Push down, rotate. There's another. I suppose you could use an empty tin can. For you that could, or yeah, like. anything at home that you have. So we're going to do this like normal French toast. Now here's the part where I get into trouble when I do this at home. What happens? They always break apart. Oh, okay. So I try to lift them out of the, the wash. Well, you just have to be a little bit gentle with them. I so guess I we're going to let that sit there, mm -hmm. and then we're going to add our egg. Do you use butter or oil? In your um, I use, this is oil. Um, I, typically, you can use butter or oil. They both work just fine. You're going to let that sit in there. So the important part of this that... Um, a lot of people at the restaurant or my mother at home would rush as they would wait, or they wouldn't wait for the egg to get cooked around to okay, seal it. Because right. we're going to have to flip this over. Gotcha. So that's going to be the hardest part. So while that's working, I'm going to get this second piece going. So if you don't wait, I'm assuming what you're saying is a tragedy would ensue. Yes, the egg's not going to come with it. All right. Which that is the whole point of the dish. Right. <laughs> gotcha. So we will set this one aside here. Mm -hmm. Do you use any sugar in your batter or anything like that? No, I do not. Okay. Do you? Uh, I have on occasion. But I, don't, I, I usually kind of slip it in because uh, <laughs> it's not appreciated at home. Oh, sugar. really? No, we don't like sugar. Oh, least. no. All right, so let's see here. This looks like it should be ready. And we're going to have to be ultra delicate. This is impressive. Wow. Oh, I didn't make it. No? I didn't make uh, it. We we'd, have to do, we'd have to do another batch. We won't tell. I don't, so, th I don't think our stove is exactly what you are used to. At no, the, at electric the, uh, stoves are kind of hard. They are oh, hard. That's okay. Especially if you're a professional chef and you have, you know, <laughs> all kinds of good things. So going once on. this gets finished, all you have to do is simply just plate it and garnish it with maple syrup or powdered sugar with mm -hmm. maybe a side of fresh fruit. Oh, and it's all good. ready to go. That's what we do at the restaurant. And it's uh, on the menu every day? Yes. Or just the brunch menu? Just the brunch menu. Okay. On it's Sundays. At, uh, on Sundays only? Yes. Okay. Sundays 10 to 3 at Muse. Great. Uh, so the recipe for it is on our website, mysuncoast.com. You can go click on the dining button, mm -hmm. and all the information will be there for you. And uh, wh wh what time does a uh, brunch open up? So brunch is from 10 to 3 at Muse on, on Sundays. On Sundays? Yes, Sundays indeed. only. Mimosas and What Bloody a beautiful Mary's place special. it is, too. I it's mean, gorgeous. To, We're doing an Easter brunch gorgeous. buffet this week. Oh, okay. This Sunday for Easter. Good to know. Yeah, All right. It'll be a nice buffet. Reservations still available? Yes, of course. And, Come on down. And what, what are you serving up? Ooh, prime rib, Alaskan king crab, southern cheddar grits. Wow. We'll have waffles, pancakes, eggs. It's going to be a huge spread. A feast. Yes, indeed. All only. Right. Well, there you go. Beautiful setting. Walk around the grounds. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and the name of the dish again is? Egg in the whole French toast. Egg in the whole French toast. Josh, thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Josh. Always a pleasure. We'll be right back.